Good morning, sir. Good morning. Please sit down. Gilbert Ezu, right? Yes, sir. I have gone through your curriculum vitae. And I must be honest with you, I am not really impressed about what I have on this file. Especially when you talk about your guarantors. You didn't tell us where they live or what they do for a living. They both live here in Onitsha. The other one is my uncle and another is my late father's friend. Mr. Ezu, how was I supposed to know that? I am not a prophet. You see, Mr. Ezu, I do not give these goods out on credit for the fun of it. The fact is, I detest poverty. I cannot stand to see anyone around me poor. But I'm also very keen on knowing that anyone I give opportunity must make the best use of it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, Ijama. Hello, sir. The marketer is here to see you. Oh, Annabelle. Uh, send her in shortly. Okay, sir. Thank you. Mr. Ezu. My secretary will tell you what to do. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. God will continue to bless you for kindness to people. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going now. Thank you. You're welcome. He said I should give you this for fun. <laughs> oh, Mogo. Hey, Moke Maloma de Kawani. Oh, you're full of failure. If you're full of a lady. The man after the people's house. Come on, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe has a bunch of Oh, it's getting better. Excuse me, I've been here before her. I've been waiting here for long. Just calm down, okay? Relax. You don't know her relationship with the boss. Please. Yes. A lady came here this morning. Who is she and what does she want? She came in connection with a casual from Tokima. Uh huh. And so that has been supplying some people goods on credit. She came to know if we can supply her goods on credit soon. <laughs> Listen, Anthony. Hmm? I don't run an NGO. This is not a charity organization. If she wants credit, she should go to the bundle. I am not with the bundle. I am his wife. Yes. Eh? And both of us have different approaches to business. No credit, 
come tomorrow. And when she comes tomorrow, she should come the following day. And the next day. And when she comes the next day, she you know the drill. So don't come to me with this kind of um, thing. Because I have things to clear. You're telling me about uh, credit. Go, go to your desk. Ah, uh, so this, this, this When she explained her problems to me, you were the only one that came to mind. I know Bond's bank very well. If she fails to meet up that target by the end of this month, she will be fired. So you're asking me to deposit 100 million naira into a bank I have never used in my life? Or just because you want to save a friend's job? Udu Bondo, you have done more than this for many people. I believe you can do this for a trusted banker who can be of immense help to you tomorrow. Hey, 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 hey. Don't try to weaken me with sentiments and emotions. All right, I'll discuss with my managers and then we see what we can do about it. But I'm not used to doing business with any bank I know nothing about. I just want you to save a friend. I mean, the agony of her losing her job is something I cannot bear. <laughs> Thank you. Emeka Udu. Okolo Mokem. Udu Bondo. Mokem. The Bondo man of Ado. Mokem no Toto. Oyo di Goluma. If he fell, 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 if he so to what do I owe this honor now, Vincent? Please, my brother, don't allow your heart to skip. All is well. Mm. I saw people trooping in and out of your office. Even as we speak, there are people that are still there at your reception waiting. I don't understand it. What is going on? My brother, what can we do? Since God has given some of us enormous resources, the only responsibility we have is to redistribute the wealth. That is the sermon the Almighty God has asked me to go forward and preach. Really? Yeah. I still don't understand what you mean by that. Oh yeah, they are the people that give goods on credit. My brother, people have no reason to be unsuccessful. You mean you have been giving them your goods on credit? To God be the glory. For how long has this been going on? A very long time. At this hard time? The more reason why we should give at this hard time. My brother, I'm at this time. When I see people suffer, my heart is disheartening. When I see people suffer, it disheartens my heart. And um, I think what some of us should do to make this society a better place is to give. That way we salvage the situation. <laughs> I don't even know why I was looking confused. I forgot you are the bundle. If I don't give all that, can you pick it? Opolo, we should not be talking at an empty table. You know that. Kevin gave me a gorge. No, the day is still young. Forget about drinks. Oh, come on. Keki is a baby would do. Send him my way first. All right. Uh, Hey, Gorgi. Ten thousand dollars. Oh, for Oh, for Oh, Oh, do you have just struck me? Okay. But this will not prevent me from telling you the main reason I came here. Oh, oh. Well, if I can alone, go ahead and talk. I believe you remember the children's wears container that I told you about. Yeah. Oh, the one from Turkey. Exactly. Okay. I have been having series and series of problems clearing that container. You can talk to me. Talk to me. What's the problem? Look, whatever it is. I have been having series and series of problems with that container. What's wrong? Talk to me as your brother. When we take a Nala, police, custom guys. Oh, 
Who want to sleep on top of the boys? No, they're fighting it. Is this happening for real? In fact, what is even happening? Am I aware of all this? Where was I when they started happening? Emeku do that I know how he started? He started from the slum. The boy that could not even boast of a single male in a day. The boy that used to approach me for small money. After our masters settled us, this same boy has now blown to the extent that he now gives goods on credit to people. Hey, this is totally unbelievable. I, Okuloka, even had to go to him for financial assistance. One card away, war. Sir, so we're looking at 200 million naira. 200 million naira for all the stock in that shop? Yes, sir. Shika, that's too poor. So we have lots of debts to collect. How much debt? Actually, I expected goods of about 500 million naira in that particular shop. So we actually sold lots of goods and credits. But I promise, before you return, I'll make sure I collect everything. I promise. I trust you. You have never failed. Make me proud once more before we your settlement. I promise I will. I'll be away to Dubai for two weeks. When I return, we settle your settlement. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Okay, so what are you Oh, here we go. Yeah, we can. Okay. Udo bando, udo kani gesi, udo guma kesi diego, na kani nacho. Udo bando, udo udo bando, udo kani gesi, abu dollar ko abu naira. Ego kanko, udo bando, udo udo bando, udo kani gesi, udo guma kesi diego. Do you still have 
have these people preparing your meals? Mm -hmm. But just during the week because my schedule is very, very tight. But I don't see anything wrong with that. Must a woman cook in a house where you can easily get someone to do it for you? <laughs> Lazy bones. <laughs> I know you're going to support that. I just pray you get a man who can afford your expensive lifestyle. Amen. Mama, you said everyone is fine at home? Yes, everybody is fine, my son. My late husband's brother, Ichio, who said I should be to you. Mm. Mm. I hope he's enjoying his new car. Sister, <laughs> you should see how he pampers that car. As if it is a new bumble. And sings brother's name everywhere he goes. <laughs> Emeka, Amanda said you're traveling to Dubai. Yes, tomorrow night. But you just came back. Mm. Mama, that has been my fate in this household. You cannot catch Emeka in this house for one full month. Yeah, one month at Chikalon, no way. <laughs> that's been a, my fate here. Well, mm. that's the price you pay when you do too many businesses. I understand. May God always kind of protect you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you get to the village, tell Mama that I sent my greetings and that I will do everything within my powers to come and see her soon. Okay? Papa, this is just 50,000 naira. And so? But I told you. Mama has been admitted in the hospital already. Uh -huh. Good music. This money will not be enough. They demanded for a deposit of 100,000 naira, which we have already borrowed. Not to even talk about the other expenses. Yet you gave me just 50,000 naira. Most of the time when you, when you sound this way, I begin to wonder, am I the only one she gave birth to? Are you not a daughter? What's your problem? But I seriously, I don't understand you. I don't understand you. You know this money will not be enough. You know it. Then you complete the money. Complete the money and pay. If you complete this money and pay, this is what I have. If you complete this money and pay, will the hell stop to exist? I'm asking you. Will it stop to exist? <clears throat> Brother, why is this that? Each time we ask you for money, she will always react this way. Why? How well? How well? Must you remind me of my predicament, brother? You know I don't have money because if I do, I won't even come here the first place to ask for money. I don't have money. Listen to me. What you have here is what I have in my house that I've given you. If you like, bring out your two eyes down here. More money will never come out. I have given you what I have. If what I have given you is not enough, you complete this money. Let me tell you something. I don't want to meet you here when I return today. I already planned how I'm going to spend this week. And Ugoshi was never included in that budget. So the same way you bundled yourself into this house, try and bundle yourself back to where you came from. Because if I come back and you are still here, you will not like how I'm going to handle you. Money we're talking about is not for my personal use. It is not for my personal use to settle Mama's hospital bill. And I've given you what I have for you to settle the bill. Go ahead and settle the bill. What's your problem? Every time she's telling me that uh, I, I remind me of my predicament. What predicament? You have your hands, you have your legs. Why can't you make money? What's your problem? I love you, Gucci. Does it mean you have been giving it to them free of charge? Is it free you have been giving it to them? Or are you telling me to my face that my sister is so useless that men are taking her free of charge? She can't even have money to pay for normal bills. Just so, so because I have money, I, I, I will have to kill myself because I will sister like you. God punish you then. Don't, don't, stop making me angry. Until I come back and you are still here, you will not have a good man. 
Anybody run out of the house now? Okay. Madam, I don't dare here since now. See me see the gate. Nobody I don't come in, nobody I don't go out. Someone was at the house. The doors were opening and slamming. Okay, okay, what up? <laughs> now the cook, Uva. It's not the cook. Yes? The cook is off duty. She's not even at home. Okay, madam, now you don't make me the fear. Eh? I don't dare here since now. Nobody I don't come out, nobody I don't come inside. It's not open for anybody. Please, go around the house. Search the whole compound. I need to be sure. Please. Yeah, my go on, search! Out there was just not about me. That's your business. <sighs> but Annabelle, it's not like the girl was asked to leave you and attend to her. I just hate the way she carries herself about in town. <laughs> Listen, Uchu. it's not her fault. If you marry a man as wealthy as Udubwanda, I'm sure you would do more. You would do worse. I know you. You know that's not true. He is just the complete opposite of her. He's very humble and accommodating. Ha! Huh. I wish all rich men were like that. Listen, Annabelle. I beg of you, do not hate her. Because Uju Bundle is the reason why we're still employed in that bank. If you continue to hate the wife, she might talk to the husband in withdrawing from my bank. And you know what a cherished customer is. She doesn't know me, so no worries. And there's no freaking way she would ever find out how close her husband is to me or to us. Do you think so? Do not get it twisted. The sword is a small place. <sighs> Would you? Right now, I'm so not okay. So just spare me the salmon. Cut the crap. What is always huh? wrong with you? When we're talking, you're always not in the mood. What is it? Why are you getting angry? I'm not angry. I, think. I just have issues with her. Ugh. I'm not angry with you. I just have issues with her arrogant persona. Listen, it's not her fault. But you shouldn't just, she should be the list of your worries. You know why? Because she does not even know you exist. Yes, she doesn't know you exist.
Anybody, they do this thing. Make it, they do it. I know they go anywhere, man. This is where they go. This is where they go. I know they go anywhere. I know they go anywhere. Hey! <laughs> Mama has come again. This one is Mama's funny story, part 20. <laughs> Mama, there is absolutely no way all these things you have just said is possible. How can doors be opening and slamming just like that? It's not possible. Amanda, if I were a child, I would have run out of this house today with what I saw. There was this figure that looked like a woman. <laughs> Even the gate man tried to make me believe oh, I didn't see anything, but I know what I saw. I'm a fanful. <laughs> Mama, I have lived in this house for three years and nothing of what you have just described, nothing like it has ever happened. I've never experienced such mysterious... I don't even know what to say. It has never happened though. I don't... Are you sure you're not hallucinating? More about Kachi. Hallucinate. Well, how else would I explain what you have just told me? Those can't just be slamming and opening up on the old freeway. It's not possible. Uh, please, sister. I am going to sleep. I don't have time for Mama's visions. Hmm? I need to go and rest. So, Amanda, I'm not going to rest. Please sit. What is happening now? Hmm? How? Oh, don't do, be, pretend as if you don't know what I'm talking about. Huh? Mama, I don't know what you're talking about, except if you're still talking about doors opening and slamming. Uh -huh. You said I was hallucinating. I agree. But what is happening with you and Emeka? You've been married for three years now. Yet no cry of a baby. Uh, nothing is happening. It's, it's bothering me, but no uh, refrain I really want to the hospital to check if all is well. Every time we've been going, we've been going. They're hoping and believing God for now. Amanda, you talk of God. Do you still know God? Do you still pray? Of course, Mama, I still know God. I Since you. I came to this house, all you concern yourself with is, is business, fashion, clothes. What else? Mama, I still know God. I still pray. True. You can't lie to yourself. You've totally forgotten about God. And that is the worst thing that can happen to any Christian. You need God, Mom. You need God. Be cool. Oh? Okay, Mama, I'll, I'll try my best. I'll keep praying for you. Oh, I thank God that you married a wealthy husband. I don't want that to get into your head. Oh, okay, it's well. You know what? Thank you. One man. I'm not busy. <laughs> My <laughs> God. Catch it all.
Let's just say you're a lucky woman to have married you. My dear, I am I'm beyond lucky. I am blessed. I'm blessed to have Udu as my husband. You don't, you don't understand how happy I am. I'm telling you. <laughs> but I just, I just wonder why those women, his ex-wives, I, I wonder why they left him. Well, from all you have told me about him, I don't think any woman that finds herself with him will want to leave. If I tell you it doesn't bother me, it's, I'll be lying. It really worries me. Udu is every woman's dream. I mean, what doesn't he have? He's such a nice man with a gentle heart. Why would any woman want to leave him? Who not like better thing? Come on. That shouldn't bother you. Sometimes in life we make wrong choices before getting it right. So, let's just say Udu made the wrong choices with the previous women. Before he finally found his missing baby. Wait, wait. Abio, thank God. Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just drifted. That's it. Um, what is it? Okay. Um, tell her I'll join her shortly. I'm coming. I'm coming. Why be that? Why be that now? Nah? You know, get the name. Just can't even say say be this. You just know he know they talk. Even as a gate man, you live in a room that even thriving businessmen cannot afford. 
Do you in your wildest dream think this is ordinary? This year you don't do for more for play. This year you don't do for more for play. Eh? Somebody you don't know, I know they see. Now you don't need to. Eh? This year you don't do for more for play. Which eh? No, I roasted you. Please come and carry these things, please. You're even taking Chiamaka along, and you know I always, I'm, I'm always lonely whenever Emeka travels. It's okay, I can't force you. It's just that Emeka would have loved to see you when he returns from Dubai, but no, no problem. What is it? It will I say something he don't spoil. Spo something he don't go wrong go. What has gone wrong? <laughs> Madam, you know say he did inside home follow me that time. He did for my room. I hear no. I come out. I don't see anybody. Some other time when they hear voice, I know they see anybody. And a woman voice. What woman? Who are you talking about? Madam, it, it be like saying that that woman when they walk out from compound, they walk out, they walk out, they wear white. What? What? What are you talking? Who Madam. walks around the compound doing what? 
Uh, see, madam, I don't see him face. Some more. The woman is fine. He's fine like you. Will you shut up and tell me what exactly your problem is? Hey. Madam. I did tell you, he don't do work out, he don't do hear voice, he do work out, he do work out. He just be like, say the house, he don't do condemn, he don't do tongue condemn my house. Everybody do work out. Musa. Madam. Come. I said come. Musa, let it not be that you have smoked something or drank something. Because I will deal with you and I will throw you out of this compound. Shut up! Do not say a word. All I want from you is to be alert at all times. Do your job and at night you sleep, wake up and continue. That is what you're paid to do. Now, out of your sight. Do not utter a word. Do not utter a word. Get out. I said don't say a word. getting me confused there. Why did you order the driver to stop us here, Mama? As I sat in that car, the same aura that enveloped the house was visibly present in the car. That was why I asked the driver to stop us, so that we can continue the journey on our own. You're sounding weird, Mama. What are you talking about again? Chiamaka, something is happening in that house. And even Amanda is not aware of it. Something like what? I think her house is being haunted. <laughs> Mama, you are getting me scared. How can sister's house be haunted? <laughs> what she needs is prayers. Yes. We should be fine. Mama, you are getting me scared. Imagata Chiamaka. You see, what an elder sees sitting, a child standing on the mountaintop will never see it. What she needs is prayers. Mama, you are getting me scared. I am going to say the Holy Ghost prays at your cousin. <laughs> she will be fine. You are talking as if the situation is really bad now. From what I saw and felt in that house, the situation... Since I came back, I noticed you've been looking worried and distant. Did anything happen while I was away? No, nothing, no, nothing happened. You know I know you too well. So tell me the truth. Your husband is the cash man of this town. So tell me. Why did your ex-wives leave you? Why they left? Or why I sent them away? No woman has the capacity to leave with the bundle. Okay. Why did you send them away? Well... You know me well. I'm not a cruel or violent man. So I couldn't just have sent them away for no just cause. Exactly. I, I, I was, I'm just baffled. Because I know you're a very good man with a good heart. So I'm, I'm wondering why any woman would want to leave you. Why are you consistently twatting history? They did not leave me, I sent them away. Okay. Why? Why did you send them away? Tell me, please. You see, I... 
I don't think you should worry yourself over that. All those women are all in my past now. They were agents of darkness sent to destroy me. What? Oh yes. After so many trials, they got exposed and I sent them packing. Okay, tell me, how did that happen? <laughs> you mean you just... You married different women at different times and just realized all of a sudden that they... They, they were witches. Witches? But the bondo man of Onichado, Akalemfa. How? <laughs> Your husband is a very powerful man. The spirits that guide me are very strong. Seriously, you have to explain. You need to tell me how it all happened. Because you, oh, you're, you're trying to tell me that you just woke up one day and the wives you married were just, just turned to witches? They all came from the same kingdom. They got caught when they wanted to ruin me. How, how did it happen? <laughs> well... Why been here? It is very deep. You won't understand. Baby, believe me, you don't have anything to worry about. They are all in my past. Really? Only friend, Death does not give notice. No matter the cover you come from, I got you covered. Tomorrow. What are the priority things I have to attend to immediately? Well, sir, James was here during the week and he brought the bookkeeping for the warehouse at 34 Bright Street. So you need to go through the book, sir. I have already spoken to him about it. Let me have it. Okay. And another thing? These are the mails and people that checked on you while you were away. Well, we'll talk about it. Next. We'll keep this in And the bank lady came here too. Check on you too. Which of them? Annabelle Okori. Alright, um, I can't remember having an appointment with her. What did she say? She said she would check back before the week runs out, sir. Alright. Now, tell all those people within for me that um, I will not be giving out credit notes today. Okay. I need to clear my table and uh, attend to other hanging issues, okay? And again, um, I will go on an inspection to the carpet house. All right? Okay, sir. We have some loads of carpet coming in. So I need to get to Gab right away. And again, uh, call my house. Tell them I will not be in the office for lunch. All right, sir. All right. Okay. Thank What's happening? What is it? 
Now what is happening? I'm just coming from a visit uh, to one of my warehouses. On my way to this market, I met some people singing with your name. Oh, uh, I didn't see them, but I heard. What was it all about? Uh, nothing serious. Uh, some of those guys I give goods to on credit. You know how people can exaggerate certain things. What I did this time around was to extend a larger heart to them by giving some goods they are not expected to pay for. Udu. Udu Bondor. Have you lost it completely? Why would you do a thing like that? Oh, you chuku gozi. Oh, gozi bea. Chuku bale Christmas. E bale one day. On your free fair, you leave fair. If you forgot, you leave. I'm just expressing the way I feel in my spirit by giving. Udu Bando, there is something you have to realize. These same people you are showing so much concern to, these same people you are giving your goods, expecting them not to pay back, they are the ones that will one day arrange and kidnap you. Why, why, why are you exposing yourself to risk? <laughs> kidnap Udu Bando. What for? Listen to me. Kidnappers only go for those nowadays, yeah? those who do not give. Not for people like me who have a large heart. But brother, if God has given you, you owe it a responsibility to mankind to give. That's it. Udo, I am only advising you. As a friend, a true friend, be very careful how you go spreading money to people. Who are danger? Look, Okuru, million days we need to spread the wealth, not poverty. Huh? Okuru, welcome. That's just it. That's a script. Udu, life in America was wonderful. I can tell. <laughs> Little wonder you spent almost three months. You know, at the point I thought you had relocated, or that one Akata had captured your heart. An edgy dogunu dog. They can capture somebody else, not someone like me. Udu, go and be fed, man. I heard that you would settle Chika soon. I wasted talking about soon. It is this Sunday. Is you? Yes. Udu Bondo. Okay. Okay, Karaka. Only I need to call me money. That's all. I'm one little Laura. Hey. You say, baby. My name You are trying. My brother. The way you settle your boy, sir. I wish I could do the same. My brother. Good work deserves good reward. Is it? I have been exceptionally lucky with loyal boys. And uh, Chika is a very good boy. Yes. Tell me, what are your plans for him? Well, um, for a start, I'll give him the shop at 34 Bright Street yeah. and 5 million naira cash. Udu Bondo! Hey! I'm a quack is here, man! Hey! On one little Laura! Boke Karaka! Only on the book of my money was up. I don't know what I'm going to do. Only a Yeah, Naraka! Naraka! Hey, you are trying. Oh, thank yeah. God. We thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Udu, okay, my God, madam. Oh, uh, madam is fine. Uh, Sounds so you know. Oh, Zurufaro. Eh? They are the same everywhere. <laughs> but, brother, mm -hmm. come and show me the machine you brought. Ah, uh, Udu. It is not uh, like you don't have them already. Because I am full of you. Let me know. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. I want to see. Why are you not allowing us to see the boss? Udu Bondu is not only younger. Udu Bondu is also Bondu. Okay, we are here to collect credit notes. We are, we are, we are. Come here now, I take a job. Listen, guys. I am not preventing you guys from seeing the boss. We well, just that there's no credit note today. Madam, Maka, why? Now, this guy is We need the credit note. Anyway, in that case, 
you guys should come back tomorrow. Makademe. He is not giving out any credit note. Can't you hear me? Then I'll be a gambo. Mhm. I best not there. Na 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 told you to at least make a sound so someone will know you're around. You keep sneaking up on, on someone like that. What is wrong with you? Uh, Madam, sorry, I don't call me, but I didn't answer call. I know if you talk about for uh, where he they talk, me, I they talk. He no go know who I they call. Uh, Madam, he get one missus, he for outside get, he say he want to see you. Missus? Eh, uh, missus. I am not expecting anyone. Who, who, who? What does she look like? Did you ask her? Who is she? Where is she from? Eh, uh, madam, I never see this missus for here before. He no know the face. But in the cloth when he wear, he be like the one that woman when he the worker for company, the worker, the worker, the worker, the wear. Shut up, Musa! I am not expecting anyone. Just dismiss her. I have to do this for him. If not, those goods will be destroyed. Can go link with you. Almost all his papers are clear. And that's what these custom boys do not tolerate. Actually, I should have done this before now, but it was delayed by my trip to the United Arab Emirates. Udo, let me ask you a question. Do you really want to do this for him? Do you really want to take this kind of risk for a man like Oko? Why not? Is he no longer a friend? I can do this for an enemy. What my friend? Well, I, I don't dispute that, but I don't think you should take such a risk for a man like Oko. Huh? I don't think at all. Oko is not worth that risk. Uh, have you considered? What a risk to your reputation if these customs guys hit you. I don't worry about that. I got that under my control. A lot of the custom boys are my payroll. Okuru knows that. That's why he came to me. Well, I can sell you to tread carefully. Thanks for your concern. But I can do that for a friendship. I can sell you to it's okay, it's okay. So, can we go now? Yeah. Yes. But I'll stop by my shop to pick. Eh, uh, madam, you are one day go. Eh? Uh, madam say you know they expect any visitor to the ever. Go back and tell her that I know why her husband's ex wife left. Okay, eh, say? I know you have not smoked any of your banned substances today. Hey, me, Nini. I sure say no be you be the person. I don't the worker, the worker, the worker inside this one point since. Go and do like you are told. Oh, for God's sake! What is 
said, Musa, what is wrong with you this morning? We then make a full temper, make a full temper. That me says when they outside, he doesn't say make it dismiss it. He say make a come back, make it tell you, say, you know why? All of your wife, when he don't marry, all of them they don't go. What? What? But then make it nervous, no be me. Then the missus, he don't talk it to tell you. But then that will make it say he be one jiva. You don't know how it is. Madame, what kind of rubbish is this, Musa? Okay, madam, I leave him for here. Come, come inside. Come, come, call you. Okay. Musa, you have started smoking that rubbish that makes you hallucinate, right? Girl, hey, wait here, hey, you. Madam, well, I. Now here it is. Put it shut your mouth. Stupid boy. Or man. I don't even know what to call you. Hey, madam, I stand for there. Me, I won't stand for here. I won't... Shut up! This will be the last time you try this rubbish with me. Have you heard me? How can you just call someone out and, and, and make a fool of me outside here? Are you all right? Madam Nadia is there. I said shut up. Madam Nadia is there. Nadia is there. My friend, shut up and close that gate. Nadia is there. He won't stand for you. He won't say make a go for you. Wait here, he do. Eh? Wait here, he do. He <laughs> don't talk and say like this woman. <laughs> Then they work hard, they work hard, they work hard. This is why I be wind. Like say, you know, if you don't hold on my condition to my adam, my adam. If you don't let them go, eh? We tell you, we tell you, you tell us love. Who are you? How did you get into my house? Who are you, who are you looking for? Hey, 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 hey! Don't come any closer. If you do, I'll call the police. What do you want? Who are you looking for? Don't do anything foolish, Amanda. You know my name? I was at your gates. She wouldn't let me in, and so I let myself in. What do you want from me? Good question. What do I want from you? Amanda, I want you to leave this house. What? You must leave because you do not belong here. You must leave Udubondo immediately. Who are you? And who do you think you are to tell me what to do in my house? I am someone you don't want to see again. Do as you are told. Leave Udu. You will never have a child with me. I will never have a child with you. What are you talking about? Even if you live all your life with me, you will never have a child. But I won't let you laugh without love. Don't make me come back here, Amanda. You will not like it if I do. Leave Udu. Leave him while you can. Yeah, she's okay. 
just passed out. Passed out? What would make sister to pass out now? Well, when she wakes up, she will tell us. I'm really confused. What kind of trouble is this? Sister? Yeah. Sister, please open your eyes. Just let her be, let her be. In all situations in life, we are encouraged to put our trust in God. I know that her situation has something to do with the way I was feeling when I was there. Uh, Amanda is very important to me. I don't want to lose her. I believe she'll be all right. But we have to get her to experience the sacrament of holy matrimony by getting married properly to her man. Now she's living with a man in the same house without getting wedded in a church. No, we do not consider her as married. Father, I know that. But what I don't know is why Emeka has refused to wed my daughter. It's not that he doesn't have money. He can even call for a society wedding if he wants to. But why he has refused to, to wed her still baffles me. Well, I will continue to pray for her. But you have to do your job as a mother. Let them know that they are living in immorality by living together and not getting married first in the church. We cannot invoke God to act as God in their case. People must live according to the doctrines of God so that they can benefit from the miracles of His mercy. Is it so bad that you can't talk about it? It's not as if I don't want to talk about it. The fact is, I can't remember anything. Sister, I don't understand you. You fainted. And I've been here for two days now. Yet, you can't tell anybody what happened. I can't remember anything. I have tried. My head, I can't remember a it's single it's thing. It's okay. Don't stress yourself, okay? Get well first. Hi, darling. Doctor says we can take you home today. Home? No, 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 no. I don't want to go back to that house, please. Don't even mention it. I don't want to go. Sister Amanda. Eh, hey, hey, big girl, don't call me. I don't want to go back to that house. Why don't you want to go home? It's your home. I know it's my home, but I don't want to go back. I'm scared. Yes. I don't know. I just don't want to go back, please. Let me stay here. Hello, Mama. Um, Chiamaka. The priest has blessed to leave you for her. Would you come to pick it up? Mama, she's okay now. I don't think we need the anointed oil. Chiamaka, please. You need the oil. Come back and pick it up. Your sister is up against some spiritual forces and she needs the oil. Be cool. Okay, ma'am. I will see what I can do. Apollo, I am as surprised as you are. Believe me, I did not see this coming. But why would they take this kind of decision without consulting any of us? Seriously, it beats me. From what I heard, they are looking for a shearman who can support the union financially and one who is credible. Oh, come on. Forget these are trade union people. Anyway, I, I don't think they are serious. Not when they have already sent me a letter demanding my immediate resignation. To that? Yes. This is serious. They could have allowed me to at least accept the offer. Wait a minute. Are you confirming to me that you have not accepted? Where? Because the letter I got didn't state that. But from what I read, they said you have accepted. That they're just waiting for me to resign so that they can organize your inauguration. Are you saying you have not accepted? Oh, how could you ask me that? That's politics. That's politics. I can remember vividly that two of the executives mentioned something like that to me before I went to Dubai. And I told them to maintain the status quo until I get back. And 
I forgot entirely about it until now you mentioned it. Okay. Now that it has become this serious, what are you going to do? Because it is very clear that every single body, every single person in that executive is already bought. Going by the way you have gone around throwing money in the whole of Onichado. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. This is something we can sort out. Don't be judgmental. You've already found me guilty. Listen to me. We have come way back. But I get to go. You must not allow this trade union thing coming between us. Nothing like this must be allowed to strain our relationship. I couldn't have them throw you out like that and take your position. What for? Akaligo Modifa. We must find a way of sorting this thing out. But I don't think this is the right way to go about it. Yes. my house. Mama asked me to make sure I rub the oil everywhere so that any evil force around will be chased away. Who on earth told you I have evil forces in my house? Mama thinks so. Mama thinks so. What have you been telling her? Me? Nothing, no sister, nothing. <laughs> Come on, will you stop rubbing that rubbish right now? What is your problem? I'm still talking to you, you're going ahead painting my house with trash. What's wrong with you? Are you alright? I'm sorry, sister. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Sister, what is going on? I know you can talk to me. You've been acting strangely since that fainting incident. <gasps> I... There's, there's nothing wrong. I, I, I guess I'm still traumatized. That's it. Not, nothing. Sister, I have this funny feeling that you are trying to hide something from me, and even from Mama. <laughs> Why would I lie to you? I fainted. Nothing more. I haven't rested in a long time. I, you know, I work too hard. So, that's it. Really? You want me to believe that, sister? You want me to lie to you? There's no other logical reason why I should faint. It's just... I just need to rest a lot more. Okay. Yeah. If you say so, then I believe you. I love you, sister. Hey! <laughs> I love you too, but don't touch me with that. Just okay. take it far away from me. Let me help you. Okay. Madam, this one is he not tall, he not short. He just did. Yeah. And the one you said that wanders outside the gates. Okay, okay. Madam, that one, you know they come again. That one, I can't look for you there. You know they come again. I mean, the one you just described, is she the same person that's been looking for me? Okay, uh, Madam, uh, if I bring them together, eh, they won't resemble. Eh? But the other one, eh, they work out, work out for the compound. That one, I know they two show in face. That one, before I know, I don't disappear. Okay. 
Eh, uh, but madam, any problem? I just said no problem. Eh, hey, you won't know whether I make a final for you, madam. Because that day, na me say I won't call you, madam. Me like say madam, you don't see him now. You know one telling me say you don't see him because me I don't chop a slab. She didn't tell me. In fact, I didn't even know when she left the house. I know that something is done with Amanda. That's why I sent you there to monitor and take care of her. Now you don't even know where she is. I can only try. Don't forget that she's married and is living with her husband. I am just a younger sister, Mama. A husband that is hardly at home with her? Since you got there, how many times have you seen a make at home? Hmm? You're right, Mama. He is hardly at home. It is either one business or another. I will just call her later. <laughs> okay, bye, Mama. Mama, we always forget that we are all adults now. She will always want to control us as if we are still children. <laughs> you don't see. What is the meaning of that? Who is this strange woman? I am convinced I saw a ghost. I can swear on that. You're speaking too late. Why didn't you say this all this while? You don't believe me? I was completely lost. It was just this afternoon I had flashes of the events and I called my gate man. He confirmed that it's that same woman that's been moving around the compound. Jesus. What are you going to do now, my friend? Do you think it's one of Emika's ex-wives? No, 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 I don't think so. She cannot be. Because she says she knows the reason why they left. If she was one of them, she couldn't have referred to them as they. You're right. I think you should let your husband know about it. I mean, he needs to know. The truth is that the more I try to understand you, the more confused I get. Why haven't you spoken about this all this while? Baby, I told you I was completely lost. I couldn't remember anything up until this afternoon. I see. Well, the description of the woman you said you saw I don't know her. And I've not had anything to do with any woman of such description. Why then did she tell me to leave you? Strange. 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 How did she know you were married before? She also claimed to know why your ex-wives left. She knows you very well. She says that... Enough. Enough of this nonsense. Can you listen to yourself? That a ghost came to my house? How long have you been here? Three years plus. And you're talking this rubbish. I know what I'm saying. I know what I am saying. I saw her. You can ask the gate man. He can bear me witness. Oh. See what you're doing to yourself. You have degenerated to the level 
of having discussions with the gate man. The same gate man, you know, smokes Indian hemp. I'm very disappointed in you. It's not it, all. Because the gate man came to me and told me he saw her. I didn't believe him until she came to me. I saw her. I know what I'm saying. I'm telling you the truth. You know what? I think you're fast losing it. Put a check on it before you lose it completely. I hope there's nothing you're hiding. And I know what you can do. For me to ask you to do this means I know you can do it. Why are you behaving as if I've asked you something impossible? Something too much? Why? It's just that I don't know why you want me to do that. If I understand correctly, this man is your own good friend. And what about it? He's a married man. How am I supposed to succeed? Listen to me. Forget the fact that he is my friend or not my friend. It is not your business. That is not even the issue. The issue is that this is like politics to me. In politics, we don't have permanent enemies. We also don't have permanent friends. What we have is permanent interest. And that is what we are talking about here. My interest. Now, concerning the fact that uh, he is married, that is not supposed to be your problem at all. I want you to unleash the Jezebel in you on this man. And you are going to be rewarded handsome. Hmm. No promising anything yet. Of course, you don't have to promise me things because people don't make empty promises to a man like me. I just want you to do what I know you can do and then leave me to do what I can do. <laughs> do what I want you to do, Kapapti Akusia. Close from Turkey, really selling? Yes. The agent says the four containers will be in before the end of this week. Did I tell you your Range Rover Sports is among the goods coming? Yes, you did. Um, uh, sweetheart. I know you've gone through some stressful moments. The fainting, show up and so on. And, uh, I want you to take it easy. You really need some rest. You can go to one of those your dream islands and get some rest. By the time you get back, you'll be refreshed. Don't think about what your mind is telling you now. Crazy. He thinks there's something wrong with me, like, as if I'm losing it. <laughs> what if you are? 
what? Yes. Maybe you're just crazy. I can't believe you're the one telling me this. Not from you now. Not from you. Hey, hey, don't get me wrong. Okay, let's break everything down. At first, you were worried about his ex-wives. Then you asked him. Then he told you some strange and funny stories how they were witches and he sent them away. And suddenly, these women started attacking you in your dreams. Then the strange woman came visiting. I mean, don't you get where I'm going? No, no. I know what I saw. I saw the strange woman with my two eyes. I know what I saw. You've been linked with this man for three years, for that long. You've never had issues about his ex-wives. No strange woman came visiting. <laughs> and then, as soon as he told you about this women, everything started happening at the same time. Don't you think your mind is playing games with you? Maybe you're just hallucinating, my friend. Me hallucinating? I saw her with my two eyes. What are you saying? Amanda, you are just worried. You're very correct. I am dead worried and I need answers. What are you talking about? I need your help. I need to find, I need to meet those women. I need to know what happened. You're not serious. Yes, Amanda. I'm serious. I need to see them. I need to know why they left. How can they leave such comfort? It's not ordinary. Eh? Come on, Amanda. Why are you doing this? Please. Please. I need to talk to them. I need answers. Okay. Do you even know these women? How do you intend to go about it? I mean, do you know where they are? That's why I need your help. Hmm? I heard that they live in this town. I have searched, I've done my investigation. Eh? I need your help. Anything for you. <laughs> you know that your investigator friend, maybe he can be of help. <laughs> no way. <laughs> there is no way you're connecting me back to that Jack. Please. Mm -mm -mm. I told you I no longer see him. And for, for anything, I will not see him. Pretty, please, please. Please, you know you're my friend. Eh? At least we know him very well. You, you said you trust his um, abilities. Eh? And he has done similar jobs. Do you want to kill me? Please, no, you know you're my friend. No? Yeah, I can't run to any other person but you. Do you have the names of this women? Yes, I have the names and my post in the car. Okay. Yeah. I just can't believe you're luring me back to that guy. No, I will see what I can do about it. But the question is, what exactly do you want to do? Anything, sir. Sir, anything. I can work as a cleaner in the office. I can also work as a house help. Is that all you want to do? What is your qualification? Um, um, sorry, sir. I, I was unable to finish my junior secondary school, sir. All right. I've heard you. We will definitely get back to you. No, sir, sir, please. I, I can't wait, sir. So please tell me when I'll come back. I, I will come back by myself. Please, sir. I, I can even start working right now in the office as, as a cleaner, sir. Please. We have cleaners already. Sir, I can assist them. Please, sir, I need to work. I, I need money. What if I give you money to start your own business? No, sir, sir, please, thank you. I, I know you too well, sir. I have heard so much about you, how you help people. But sir, I, I need to work for my own money. I, I, I need to work. Please. I like your spirit. We can start you as a cleaner. <laughs> Go, my secretary will tell you what to do. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful, sir. Right. Thank you, sir. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. <laughs> All right, dear. Thank you so much. Oh yes, as soon as I get to work tomorrow morning, I'll make sure the papers are ready. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate. <laughs> okay, dokie. Okay.
Bye. <coughs> What's up? Just wondering, this is your relationship with Udubondo. Is he still professional? And if he's no longer professional, is something wrong with that? It's not like there's any problem. He has a pretty wife. She will slice your throat. <laughs> Would you? You forgot to add this. He has a pretty wife who... A pretty wife? Is she pretty? <laughs> Whatever. Who is yet to bear him a child? But he still loves her. And they still live together. <laughs> it's just a matter of time before he replaces her. And we're talking about replacements. This is her with who? With me, of course. <laughs> Babe, everything is possible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure you're dreaming. Keep on dreaming. <laughs> Come on, Ju. What does that childless, arrogant woman have that I do not have? Eh? Babe, check me out now. Eh? <laughs> Annabelle. As a matter of fact, I don't think she suits the bundle at all. Wait, Annabelle, you know, when we started this conversation, I thought, I thought you were kidding, I thought you were joking. I never knew you were into this guy. <laughs> Wait, babe. <laughs> babe, you cannot kid with such a package. Udu Bondo is a complete package. Babe, I'm so into him. I want him badly. Can you explain this? sizzling sensation that I feel whenever I think about him. Huh? What do you call that? What about him? Is he into you too? I mean, are you, are you guys already doing it? Not yet. But I'm gradually going to make it work. Trust me, babe. I'm working so hard on it. By the time he dumps his crazy um, wife... Um, and I'm a blessing. It's not like I'm trying to tell you what to do. But you have to take my advice. You have to keep this professional so that we do not lose his business contact. That's the right thing to do since the guy is not even into you yet. Yes. Whatever. Why am I even discussing this with you? It's such a kill job. I beg sheep job. And Mecca, please, please do not insult my family. Biko, do not insult my family. I am not insulting your family. I am only stating the fact. First, your mother said she heard slamming doors. Uh -huh. Then you said you saw a strange woman. Your sister left because she said she saw an invisible hand turning on the tap. For goodness sake, that is ridiculous. It has to do with members of your family right out of my house. I cannot sit here and listen to you watch you insult my family. How come all of these things that are happening are just happening in your house? Answer me, why? I Tell cannot me. answer such irrelevant question. All I'm saying is I've had enough of this trash. And if you, members of your family are not comfortable to come here, let them stay away. Q E D. You called me. Yes. Are you through with your cleaning duties for the morning? Yes, I'm through. Okay. The chairman would like to. What? Yes. Is everything all right? I don't think so. But he's seated already. You will know the reason when you get there. Yes. Uh, how are you finding your job? I find it satisfactory, sir. It's good. Hmm. Uh, Jamal, my secretary has said so. She commends you for hard work. Keep it up. I'm happy to hear that, sir. Good. You must have noticed how others appear. 
I mean, in terms of dressing, haven't you? I have, sir. The dress so low. At times, sir, I wonder if we are doing the same job, sir. <laughs> because I insisted it must be so. Well, you must know that you must appear neat always. Um, despite the fact that you work as a cleaner. Is it true? No, don't, don't misunderstand me. I'm only trying to make a point. I always have uh, important vis visitors here, dignitaries visit me. I wouldn't want them to see you in this state. So you must not be odd. You must dress well and neat to the office, okay? Names are written in there. Pretty, why would you like to trace these people? Listen to me, Odio Yenwe Aimba. Don't get personal here, please. Just do your job. Get me the addresses and your job is done. Okay. You want us to go professional? My first payment before I start anything. Your account will be credited this afternoon. So just tell me how long it's going to take for you to get the job done. I'm not traveling out of the state. It won't take long. Just give me the average time. That's what I Come want. Come on, pretty. This is not the kind of job we do in your salon. This is an investigation. A private one at that. On the persons you do not know anything about. Okay, just take your time. Okay. Please get down. <laughs> You know what I miss about you? Your rudeness. That's what I miss. You are a fool. Get down. I said, get out of my car. <laughs> okay, then. coming. Amanda, I want you to go in there and gather everything that you need. We are going back home now. What? Yes. We are going back home. What kind of marriage is this? 
Get the marriage if Mama, what are you talking about? What, what is wrong with my marriage? Everything. I wonder everything is wrong with your marriage. Since it is the marriage, how many children have you been able to have? None. What about funny stories about all these strange things happening in your home? I have come to a decision that you are going back with me now. I don't want to lose you. I am very sure it is Chiamaka that told you all of this. She must have told you of her cockaboo story of the tap coming on and off by itself. That is not enough reason for you to say my, there's something wrong with my marriage, Mama. That's not enough. Really? Amanda, what about the ones I experienced? What about yours? Ne? What about the strange woman who told you that you never have a child with a mecca? Did you think all those are nonsense? Amanda, see. I have been going for adoration prayers at Kukuzo and there was this prophecy about you that your life is in danger. So my decision is that you are leaving this house now. Mama, this is my husband's house. I cannot leave. I am old enough to make my decisions by myself. Why do you like to interfere? Eh? Why do you like to put to, 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 to just control my life? I'm an adult. This is just the height of it. It's no longer funny. Amanda, me were an adult. Me were an adult. You are still my child. I have more experience in life than you do. And I've come to the decision that you are leaving this home. You are leaving it now. Go and pack your things. You live in Hawaii. So, this is all you raced down from the village to come and tell me. Is that it? I have good news. I am not leaving my husband's house. Amanda! Amanda! Amanda, don't say that you don't want you. Amanda, I want to find you. I want the one no Amanda! Okay. Nonsense. I want nonsense. Rubbish. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? Come on, let us leave this house, Angel. Musa! Musa! Oh, put that here this minute! Idiot. Get out of the country before you can be gone. Eh? Will you not be my man? I'm really sorry for the short notice. But I figured out it'd be better on a Sunday like this, when our heads are not full of business. I don't have any problem with that. You know, my house is equally your house. You can come anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, I have been waiting for you to talk about it again. But I don't think you will ever do. It's about this, our trade you don't think. I have come for us to take a decision on how to handle it. I don't know what you want me to say or what you want me to do, my brother. In as much as I find it very difficult to understand why our trade union people will treat me like this after three years of service. But the truth of the matter is that I cannot force myself on them. It is indeed a pity. I know you're a very good leader. So it beats me why they will wake up one day and take such a decision. And it's not as if some are for you and some are against you. No. They all seem to be singing the same song. And that is because they say they are looking for a credible man to be their chairman and you are the one they have found. Oh, come on. Don't talk like that. You're a credible leader. I, I think there's more to it. That's why I have come for us to talk. They have given me three weeks to accept the offer. So it's a threat now. Are they going to force you to accept the offer to become the chairman just the same way they want to force me out of the office? They are pleading. Last Sunday, they were all at my house. All the executive members pleading. Udubandun, these people are being too money conscious. I know why they are doing this. Considering the way you go throwing money all around, throwing money around, who wouldn't want to have you as the chairman? Sincerely, my brother, these people are concerned with what they can gain from you. Okuloka, being a chairman is not just about throwing money about using your words. <laughs> It involves more responsibilities. So what then is the problem? Go ahead and accept the offer from them. What about you? I don't just want these guys to deal with you anyhow. 
So that's why I've come for us to find a middle ground so that no one is cheated or disgraced. <laughs> You make me laugh when you sound this way. Sincerely, I have decided not to say anything about this because I already accepted my fate. The same people I have served diligently for years will just wake up one morning and say they don't want me. I don't know why. and I, 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 I don't want to question their decision. I don't know. I, I, I didn't steal their money. I didn't abuse the office. So I don't know what their reasons are. Is it because of my women? That's my personal life. It's not supposed to be anything of, of, of concern to them. My take on this is, if they have decided to have you as the chairman, please, my brother, go ahead and accept the offer. Sincerely, I don't have any problem with that. I take it that this is from your heart? Of course, it's from my heart. Because I believe if you are there as the chairman, then I am the one who is there. Oholo, what are you doing? Oh, no, my man. What are you doing? Oh, no, my man. 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 But you will do me one favor. Anything. I want you to wait until the end of the three weeks they gave you before you accept that offer. Why do you ask for such? Because I know these people. And they know how we value our friendship. By making that offer to you, they want to end it. And if you, are, if, if you accept what I just said and wait until the end of three weeks before you accept that offer, you are indirectly giving them notice that you are not in a hurry to end that friendship. Even as you are waiting, I also want you to advise them occasionally to have a rethink on this their decision to have Opoloka removed from office. It is not as if I will eventually decide again to go back to that office, no. But when you tell them that, it will make them understand you value our friendship deeply. You have a point. I think I would leave it till the end of three weeks. I can comfortably do that. Is it not why I said you are the best? <laughs> I know you will agree. <laughs> <laughs> I know you will agree. Oh, no, okay. But what do you believe that? Oh, no, okay. My man, you go, 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 go. It's just well with you. It's well with you, right? My man. I can't believe you're saying this. I just told you that this man almost saw me out there when he drove in. Almost, you say? Almost, not that he saw you. Can you understand from that that what you are saying is of no importance? It's not relevant. I want us to talk, please. All I'm saying is that you could have told me that he was coming so that I could coordinate my movements. But yeah, I didn't know he was coming. I got to know when he was almost here. Listen to me. The important thing is that he did not see you. So can you understand that what you are saying is not important? I want us to plan. I want us to talk. Nah, man. I'm just tired of this whole thing. I, I, I wish this whole thing can just come to an end so I can leave this country. I can't continue to live this kind of hide and seek life. Exactly my point. Now, we have just three weeks. Three weeks to execute the plan we have and then you will leave this country. Why? Three weeks? Three weeks is such a short time. Can you hear yourself? You are the one that just told me now that you cannot wait to leave this country and suddenly you are the same person telling me that three weeks is so short a time to execute plans. What is the matter with you? Listen to me. That idiot is going to accept that offer to be the chairman of the union. And that is what I want to stop. You have three weeks to strike. And let me tell you, you must, read my lips, you must strike before the end of three weeks. 
Uh, has he decided to accept the offer? I always knew he would accept, only that I didn't know the time. But today he confirmed to me that in the next three weeks he is going to accept that offer. I had to give him my support because I knew that he would have been destroyed completely by the time we had done with the plans. Hmm. It means that um, I have to fast forward everything. That's the, that, that's the word. Fast forward everything. Now listen to me. If you can execute our plan faster than immediately, it will be appreciated. Making him fall for me, sleep with me, and then, and then I, I claim that I am pregnant. It's not going to work in three weeks. What is your plan B, boss? Why do you endlessly give me this impression that your brain is packed with pap? Must I be the one telling you everything? Listen to me. You are the one that must come up with something. That evil man is out to, de to destroy me. He is out to dislodge me. And you have to come up with something. I want his name to be dragged in the mud so that he can go out of circulation. You have to figure out something to do. Something that will make him go out of circulation. And you have just three weeks to do that. Now, if you cannot come up with something tangible, it simply means that I have no reason whatsoever calling you my Lizzie and my Jezebel. I am simply your Lizzie, whom you're going to send to Las Vegas Boulevard. I am not a Jezebel and I will never be. Whatever. But you, you must have to come up with something that will make me believe anything. Fast. What kind of game are you people playing? I went to the boutique. The girls there told me, Madame is at the supermarket. Now I am here. You say, Madame went to the boutique. So a whole Udubondo, you have turned me to a rippling turner. Where is your Madame? Has she been here today? Uh, Madame was here this morning, but she left before noon. Did she say where she was going to? No, no sir, she didn't tell us anything. She only asked us to take care of the shop. Because sir, maybe she had an emergency. Emergency that Amanda cannot tell me about? What is Amanda telling to? You're not taking it nicely. Do you still want to go see the other woman? Is it not enough sad news for the day? I, I do not believe any of the things she said. I just couldn't connect with her story. And why not go home? Or, or you still want to go see the other woman? Who, who knows? Her story might even be more annoying. I have already set out to see them today. Let me finish what I started. I just... I don't want to disturb the priest again. Because he said that my daughter is sinfully living with a man. There is no way he can invoke the power of God. No, madam. I don't think he understood the priest very well. He is praying for her just as he is praying for everyone. I believe God will answer at his appointed time. Amen. My daughter is living under the influence of some spiritual forces. They've closed her eyes and her ears. I don't know what to do. Madam, keep praying for her. I believe God will finally show why he is God. God is God. He is not man.
Why do you seek to know why I left him? What makes you think I'm willing to tell you that? Because you're a woman like me. Too many things are happening. A lot of things have happened. I need answers. Strange things like what? Your inability to have children? You know, I thought yours was different. I never knew you were unable to have children. What are you talking about? My friends asked why I left. They all thought I was crazy. My parents in particular were mad at me. No one understood what I was going through. No one could believe that the man I got married to was not whom everyone believed him to be. My dear, I strongly believe Udubondo is a member of a deadly occult. So many strange things that I cannot even talk about happened in that house. One of which was my inability to have children. It was medically proven that I could conceive and Uduku father a child. But we were unable to have children. So I went as far as getting someone to impregnate me just in case the medical reports were, were not right. What happened next was the last straw. Why are you asking me that kind of question? Are you no longer my wife? Why were you resisting in the first place? You finally have one. I want to sleep. I want to sleep. into me and I got pregnant. Something told me to avoid Udu. I resisted him for three months, giving him excuses whenever he comes to me. But that night, my resistance got broken. I allowed him in. And that was it. I lost the pregnancy. Oh my God! I needed no prophet to tell me my husband was a compromised man. Hmm. So I left. So you got married after you left his house? It was a tough decision. For Udu allowed me access to money. Real money. I told myself the truth. Money is not everything. I left all the money and riches and moved on with my life. Look at me now. I have three children with the present man and with my hmm. Madam Cheta, <clears throat> I want to ask you a question. When you were in Udu's house, did you encounter any strange woman you know funny woman that probably told you to leave the house strange woman yes no i didn't though i felt like someone was watching me in that house but i never encountered anyone in person like i said so many strange things happened in that house a lot
because none of those women has experienced that kind of thing. I'm not arguing with you, pretty. I am not. It's just that Udu has to tell me what's going on with him. He has to tell me what has been happening. He has to say something. Just take it easy. Don't allow this to break your home. <laughs> I wish I had a home. I have everything, but I don't have peace of mind. Eh, how is that a home? Please, just take it easy. Coming from the supermarket. I have been there four times today. The last visit I paid to your shop was about 20 minutes ago, so I ask again, where are you coming from? You don't want to see the other side of me, do you? Have you been playing around in this small town of Manager where I rule as king? How dare you think of such a... Then where the hell have you been? Where were you all day? You couldn't take your calls? Neither could you return. What were you doing? I went to see your ex-wives. You heard me right. I went to see your ex-wives. You went to see my ex-wives. What for? How did you even find them? Emeka, please. You and I know I'm not an illiterate. I needed answers, so I found a way. You needed answers. You needed to see them. For what? Emeka. You claim we have everything we need in this marriage. We have money, we have this, we have that. Yes, we can have children. What do you mean by I needed what? I needed answers, so I went to see them. You went to see them because we don't have children or what? Emeka, you have a lot of explaining to do. You had better start talking because from what I heard today, everything is going to have a negative effect on this marriage. Excuse me. Those are angry women. I have told you how I sent them away. You of all people should know that they can fabricate anything just to make sure our marriage fails. Why did you even go to them? Why are we unable to have children? We've only been married for three years. Have we not seen our doctor? With what I heard today, I don't think we will have one even if we spend eternity together. Really? I wonder what those angry birds, those daughters of Jezebel have fed you with. See, you have to admit it was a mistake going to them first. Look, they want your marriage to fail. Don't you get it? I'm so worried. I'm so worried the worry is going to drive me crazy. Sweetheart, you don't have to worry. What should matter to you is that you have a husband who loves you, you have enormous wealth to take care of anything you need, you have comfort, and very soon children will come. 
I want you to be happy all the time. Because the Bondo man of Onichado has you covered, baby. Worry for them. I'm very sorry, sir. I'm very sorry. Please, sir, you have to listen to me. Listen to you? After all you did to me? After all I did for you? Tell me why you are here. Sir, that is why I came back. You're a nice man. You do not deserve that kind of treatment. I am sorry. You're sorry? You are sorry? Do you know what you did to me? Do you know what your actions have cost me? Elizabeth, why did you do it? Sir, I came back here because you're a nice man. I can do anything to change things. I could not sleep. My conscience troubles me day and night. Men with your kind of heart are in short supply. You don't deserve this kind of treatment. I ask you, why did you do it? I worked for someone, I worked for someone, sir. I was hired to do this. But please, sir, do not ask me who. I just want to save your face if I can. But don't ask me who, please. I do not know how you intend to save my face. But knowing who is responsible is more important to me. Sir, please, I, I stand the risk of losing my life if I do this. I beg of you, sir. Don't ask me who, please. I insisted. But with the way she pleaded, I decided to forget about it. Hey, I just don't get it to do. Eh? She should at least tell you who she wants for. She owes you that. So I can know who my enemies are. Exactly. Look, since she has decided to come out clean, she should do that completely. Do you know that the person that set you up like that can even murder you? She says she stands the risk of losing her life if she tells me who this person is. What of your own life would you? Look, I just don't get it at all. I don't buy the idea at all. There is something that I, I want to understand myself. Are you confirming that this girl is ready to come and tell the public that everything was a setup? Oh, yes. Since that's the only way to redeem my face, she volunteered to do it on her own. I think we have to persuade her. That is the only way forward. Persuade her to speak. As you have made up your mind that nobody will ever see you at home during the day. Therefore, I came to this part to wait for you this night because I know you must surely use this part. What for? What do you want? Are you not tired of your other women? Don't deviate, please. What brought me here this night is way bigger than my insatiable love for women. Lizzie, you know yourself that I am not gay and I will never ever become one. I surely will not stand here to discuss your sexual choice. Don't! Don't provoke me by attempting to leave. 
What have you been up to lately? Entirely my business. Don't you think one of them is actually my business? What do you mean by that? Lizzie, I told you that your papers to Las Vegas will be ready by the end of the week. Why the rush? Why the betrayal? Why are you bent on destroying all the things I already set in motion? Why? I guess you're talking about my visit to your friend. <laughs> anyway, I could not, I could no longer hold it. Because you saw me with other women? Lizzie, you know how I place value on our relationship. You know how I regard you. And this is why I have already perfected plans to send you to Las Vegas Boulevard where you are going to blow. Are you not aware of that? My confession was not about the mission to Las Vegas. Really? It equally had nothing to do with women. So, can you be lenient enough and tell me what your confession was all about? It was all about my conscience. I conscience. could no longer hold it. I was troubled. Your friend does not deserve that. He's a nice man and you know it. Within the short period of time I was there, he showed me so much care. I equally saw him do the same to other people. So a woman who works closely with me suddenly is talking about conscience. So because of that, you, you, you would rather betray me? No, 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 no. You are the one that betrayed your own friend. And I was a very big fool to have taken part in it. I allowed you to use me for your evil and selfish goals. Have you heard that his wife is at the verge of leaving him? Oh, face to you! Congratulations! Lizzie, you are singing. Lizzie, you are singing. Because I asked you a question and you have not answered it. Would you rather betray me? I will not mention your name. I promise you that. I have already told him and he has agreed. Let me try to present this picture clearly because it is obvious you don't even know what you are into. Lizzie, you are going to call a press conference where you are going to tell members of the public that you were hired by a man. You are not going to mention his name to bring down your former boss. Have you ever bothered to you know, have a, an imagination of how stupid you are going to look in the eyes of the people? Have you? That is the least. The least I can sacrifice for a man as nice as him. Was you should take a leaf from him. You should borrow a leaf from him, really. Try to be nice like him. Instead of trying to pull him down for nothing. Now, Lizzie, I love you. And you know that I love you. Lizzie, we have a relationship. Something we have built over the years. Are you not going to destroy everything that you have built over the years? Something that dates back as long as I can't even remember? For the sake of that same friendship, I have decided to try, just to try, not implicate you in any way. I think I have to leave now. No, no, the way you are sounding, it, it appears as if you have already made up your mind on what to do. Yes, I have. I have. I would do it. That means you are not, despite my pleadings and everything, you will still go ahead and betray me? I will do it. Yes, I will. That's not my pleading and my baby. I will do it. Really? Yes, really. Good night. Good night. Lizzie, I never wanted to end you like this. Because I value the love we shared. You caused it. And here you are, dead. Whatever happens in Las Vegas, stays in Las Vegas. Whoever coined that saying was absolutely a saint. You want me to me? The last time I call you, that's also what I give. 
Oh, that one come out. Go. Hey, come on, say No, you don't go anywhere. Get out! Eh? Are you mad? Oh, what are you now? Hey! What game, Alola? You slept me. Any man that calls himself my brother oh. that allows a fool like you to stay in his house and decide who comes in and who goes out. Go. Hey! Hey! What are you? Where is he? to show how mad you are? Don't you have respect for yourself? Onyedika? Sir? And what are you doing there? Your sister pushed me down. I'm not going to stand up here until she kill one cow for me. Nambadis, before me. Hey! Hey! Forget the animal of your gate, man. I did not come here to spend time. I came to congratulate you. How? How? Mama. Mama's finally died. So what? I hope you're happy now. Go and take her cops. Go and take her cops. Have you seen why, why I say that this girl is an idiot? Why would God punish me with an idiot like this? Why would you joke with something as big as death? Do they joke with death? You, you were the one who started joking with death. When you refuse to bring her the money, you have to take your own mother to a proper hospital. We could not pay the bills. We called you on the phone and you refused to talk to us. So the sickness claimed Mama's life. I hope you're happy now. Okuroka, I hope you are happy now. You, you are a devil. You are a heartless soul. You want to Lucifer itself. But I tell you something. You, you will rot in hell. And all the vultures will feast on your soul. If I were you, for every wickedness I show to us, especially to Mama. Power! If I were you, I, I say my Mama is dead. Hey! What can't you do? Oh, you're the keeper, you. Yo. The rest of life, we don't all finish at the same time. Some come in first, some come in second, mm. some third, some come in last. Take heart, my brother. When the mother, because Cassio be you. It baffles me the way death kills people these days. One minute you're with someone. Possibly rejoicing and having a good time. At the next moment, the person is gone. Gone forever. Oh, oh. Take that. Leave me again. Mm. I'll take that. Mm. Hello? Good evening, sir. This is Lizzie. Lizzie, how are you? You didn't show up at uh, as we planned the other day. I hope you're okay. Come on, you sound very weak. As I speak to you now, I am critically wounded. Wounded? Did you have an accident? The night to the day I was supposed to come and make the public announcement, I was shocked on my way home. Shocked? Who's after you? 
Are you all right? What I am about to say now may sound unbelievable. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. I said that I was not going to tell you the person who set you up. But after he tried to end my life for even coming to you, I think you should know whom he is so that you will know how you relate with him. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. So who is he? Your friend, Okuroka. What? What? Say that again, say that again. He is envious of how popular you are among the people and how the union was going to replace him with you. <laughs> it was you? Uh, uh, Udu, what did she say? It was you! Don't tell me you are listening to that gold digger. Oh, shut up, you! U Udu, talk to us. What is this all about? What did, what did she say? Is everything okay? Or oh, get him, man. Could you believe it was Okuraka who set up Lizzie against me? It's a lie. He even had her shot just to conceal the crime. Can you believe that? Did he get to that extent? Okuru, you. Oh my God. Did he get to that extent? You do? You know. No, Okoro. I've always known you never liked Utu, but getting to this level is quite absurd. How could you? Even you? What is wrong with you? Where is the doctor? Why do you need to do kind of thing? Where is the doctor? Hey! I longer agree that I'm going to speak. Please don't kill me, don't give me special treatment. I already explained to you that I just lost my mother. My mother is in the mortuary as we speak. You could marry my brother. I beg. My child By the time I finish with you, you will sell all your houses and start life afresh. To help the poor, you will not. Even to help your neighbor, you will not. Come and talk of settling your boys. No way. But if it's to run after women like he goes, you will run. I believe it is God that is punishing him. I strongly believe it. Immediately those kidnappers release him, please. Just cut off. Severe that relationship. Please. I have had occasions to ask myself, how did I offend up Uraka? Is it my fault he doesn't like giving? Why would he do that to me? Well, the good thing is that the truth is already out in the open. So thank God. If eventually the kidnappers release him, please severe that relationship. Please. By the way, what's the situation of things with him? Well, his shops have been closed down and uh, his boys are trying to set up the stuff he has and then try to raise the 50 million naira the kidnappers are demanding for. <sighs> well, that's sad. Only God knows who is behind all of this. I pray he comes out of this alive. I know he does. Just be careful of the people around him. I don't think it's just the people around him, but... He has also been backstabbing. And I know the end of justice is that if you must come to equity, you must come clean. Exactly. And he's not clean. And that's where the problem is. Exactly.
I warned you, didn't I? I told you that I don't want to see you here when I return. I know how close you are to my wife. She can barely do anything without telling you. Where is she? Why did she run out? Everything is confusing to me. I mean, my, my friend was in a mess when she came running to me. What is happening? Don't worry. I have everything under control. You do? Really? Like this? I mean, my friend has gone and she will never come back to you. She has gone to her people and you said you have everything under control. I'm sorry to have bothered you. Don't worry, but thanks for your assistance anyway. The bomb do man the shadow. If you say so, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. My dear, that's the same white hair that these two former wives left him to. I keep wondering what on earth would make any woman in her right senses to run away from such comfort. <laughs> Whatever it is, I swear it's very strong. Very strong. <laughs> or oh, maybe they are letting go good like the phone. Everything you know. We can only talk about the things we experience, isn't it? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Madam Pretty. You understand? I understand. I agree with you. What? But the Wobos has to take care of it. How can a man of his status allow his name to be dragged on a mot just like that? Imagine the way the three wives just left it, just the same way. Like I said, we can't talk about the things we don't expect. What is it? Pretty, haven't we waited long enough? I'm so sorry. Please. I wanted to you shopping. Please. I want to fix my name. Yeah. Yeah. Are we talking about with you? the wildest man in this town? Yeah, of course. I just remember how the effort to talk about him like that. My dear, I feel he is the cause of his own undying. Would you don't start? What? Don't. We're just talking. Hold on a minute. What is going on here? Can someone talk to me? Annabelle. You have been too protective of this man. Talk to me, what is happening? Annabelle, tell her. Don't mind these fools. There's nothing to tell. Oh, really? Of course, there's so many things to tell. Cynthia, my dear, Annabelle here have been lost in after Utopondo. What? He is married! He was! He was married! We've been friends anyways, but now that he's single again, I think I have a better chance with him. <coughs> True, Mon girl. A man that will not see anything in you other than an ambitious marketer of cost new generation banks. You're such an idiot. <coughs> Compliments, baby. Oh, um, hold on, babe. Just hold on. Annabelle. You mean you've had the number of this powerful business tycoon? And you kept it all to yourself? How could you? Um, <clears throat> Cynthia, probably because he would not give in to all her precious. <laughs> Annabelle, you were totally lost. Oh, you, <laughs> Give her tea. If I asked him to lodge his money into your bank, you would have been on the streets, jobless. <clears throat> Whatever, baby. The 
truth is always bitter. <laughs> I am so, so disappointed in you. Do you know who we are talking about here? Emeka Udu. Udu Bondo. The Bondo man of Onichado. A man that every evil man in London practically worships his name. Well, it's not like something is down already. I'm still working my way to his heart. It is just too bad. Uh, Udu, what are you doing about it and how far have you gone? Unfortunately, you have not been around. On the day here, I will tell you how many times he has had to escort me to see her parents. Mm. She would have nothing to do with me. Now her mother complains I did not wait her in the church. I have stepped out of my way by approaching the priest. Just to fulfill all righteousness. Yet she would have nothing to do with me. What can I give me? A woman will just get up one day and decide that she will have nothing to do with her husband. But the church wedding is not the real wedding. Pay bride price and then doing traditional marriage. That's the real marriage. Where our fathers will hand over the daughter to the man he wants to marry. And I remember very much that you did that in a very elaborate occasion. So what has come over our women? If you ask me, I have an entirely different opinion on this matter. Honestly, I do not think there is anything wrong with the women. That is with who? We do. You are not just my friend. You are also my brother. I have always and will continue to look out for you. But truth be told, Amanda is not the first woman that will leave your house in such a manner. In fact, she's the third. I think there is something wrong somewhere. Wait. Just hold on. Are you possibly insinuating that there is something wrong with me? No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong with you. I am not saying there is anything wrong with you. All I am saying is that it is high time you sought for help. Help? Yes. What sort of help? God's help. I think this is more spiritual than physical. I'm, I'm, I'm even glad you said that you met a priest. Perhaps that priest will lead you to your spiritual emancipation. Or, if you ask me, <laughs> I will guide you. Ide, <laughs> <laughs> you want to drag Udu to church? In your heart, you know it will never happen. At least it will go a long way. Thank you very much for looking out for me. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your help. But I tell you what, I will not stoop that low. Hey, you do. You call asking for God's help, stooping too low? Come on, my dear friend. Ide, let me ask you, when did you start being so religious? You just don't get it, do you? Both of you, you don't get it, you too. It's not about being religious. It is knowing where your help lies. Look, our friend Udu needs help. The least we can do is offer him that. Gentlemen, I think uh, I've had a good day. Let's go and rest my head. We, uh, we chat uh, after tomorrow. Udu? Yeah. I'm home, man. I'm tired. You see yourself now. 
you have only succeeded in adding salt to injury. That's what you have done. Huh? How can you ever think of that? Let you know, voicing it out. How will you know it? How will you know? I'm sure you have never been to church in your entire life. Bertram, I am always delighted each time I receive your call. Yes, sir. So how are my babies? They are very well, sir. In other words, they are ready to be taken to the woman I told you about at Miata Anam. Yes, sir. That's why I called you. Good. I uh, appreciate you so much. You've done a wonderful job. Thank you, sir. I uh, feel sometimes uh, the 10 million naira is not enough to appreciate you. I want you to know I appreciate you. Um, thank you, sir. But my concern is the lady you told me about that will take care of the babies. Are you sure she'll be able to do a great job? Oh, yes. She's a midwife, just like you. Just that she retired to the village. But I tell you what, people sing her praises. She's the best in that town. So not to worry. She will be keeping the kids. After three years, I'll bring them to my house. Oh, that's good. Um, you sound very convincing. Yes. Um, you give me two days and um, I'll hand the babies over to you. Thank you very much. You see, I'm a man with a large heart. I like appreciating people. I know we are grateful for 10 million naira, but I've added 1 million naira, making it 11 million. Oh, thank you so much, sir. You don't know what this means to me. Thank you very much, sir. I'm a man of a large, large heart. I really appreciate it. Thank you. 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 That's why they don't they look, they look, they look, they look. I won't sell the motto. Come, sir. Which kind compound you can't carry me? Come enter. Eh? Me? This place, it will be like me, like much worry. Okay, wait. Oh. It is suspect, say, it don't smoke something. Eh? It don't collect my thing. It is see big, big motto. It is see flower. Fine, fine flower. I know be ordinary flower. Over. It is see big house. It is see me when they are alive. Eh? I can't call it much worry. Okay, Musa. Now this kind of compound where you they stay. Eh? Me, I know if you stay here with you. Me, I know if you stay here with you. Some, 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 some. Me, I they go back to Kano. Wait, wait, wait. Eh? I they even hear sound. I they hear, I they hear ghosts. It be like say spirits. They walk up. Every day, spirits. I mean, no one die. I know one die. I call at all. Ah, me, I know one die. Okay. Eh? Yeah, wait here, you don't see no. Hey, they see big, big motor. They see fine house over. Eh, hey, they see flower. Fine, fine flower. No, be say uh, be ordinary flower. Hey, they see me when they alive. Hey, they call you here much worry. See me, I know they go anywhere. Now here I day. Ah. Even though here I be much worry. First, I day for this can find much worry. You know go go heaven. Okay, make it they go. Make I go lock my gate. They go far. Hello. Hello, sir. This is Mrs. Bill. The Matron. Oh, Matron. How are you, ma'am? I'm very well, sir. Um, sir, I'm happy to inform you that the babies are here now. Awesome piece of news. I never heard that in four months. Thank you very much. So, can I come in today? Yes, sir. You can come. 20 minutes will be okay. I must assure you of one thing, Matron. Your reward will not just be in heaven, but I will make sure I appreciate you. It will be my pleasure, sir. I feel grateful once again. Thank you. I'll join you shortly. Thank you. All right, sir. All right, I'll respect you. Oh, this is good. This is good. Lucky you. You're going to be a father. <sighs> so, I can't believe that you hid this from me all this while. Eh? Okay, I can. I will know the bundle. <laughs> If I'm okay, I'm going to be a father. Of course. Whatever you call it. What I know is they are all my children. Biological or not. 
They are all my children. And you are their father? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is now bye-bye to Umuwai and their troubles. Never. I never said so. It was better. Look, wherever we catch them, make the best use of them. God knows we cannot stay without women. <laughs> Caution, master. Caution, master. <laughs> 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 All is vanity, everything shall pass away. Sure, there's someone in there. Sure, there should be. She just spoke to me about 10 15 minutes ago that the kids are here. about 10 or 15 minutes ago. This, this world, this world is wicked. Oh my God. Let's get out of here. No, 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 no not like Let's that. get out of here. Not like this. This. Let's leave this place. No. No. I don't want to leave here. What are you going to do? Let's go. Oh my God. This is very, very unfortunate. Who could have done this? What did she do to whoever did this? A lot of things are coming up in my head. Things like what? I'm beginning to think you should consider what Ide said. These things are not ordinary. I will be disappointed if you have joined them. Listen, Udu, I don't want you to dismiss Ide as a noisemaker. You have to reconcile all the things that have been happening around you and then consider his impressions and conclusions and give them a second thought. Consider them. Babe, how do you expect me to understand? You didn't plan to live like this. Haven't I tried? I didn't plan to stay this long, remember? I know that, of course, but why the rush? I need to go to Lagos and get my life started. Oh, babe, it's not fair now. Stay a bit. Cynthia is capable of doing anything she wants. Always remember that. Don't worry, I'll see you soon. Hopefully. Soon. Babe, you're leaving for Lagos right now, you know that. Cynthia. Cynthia and her weirdness. Ah, at least I have my house to myself for some time. Man, her baby is a handful.
Cynthia, you can't be serious. You mean you've been seeing Udubondo? You all seem to underrate me. That money bag is head over heels in love with me. Love with you? How? How? Yes. Because I am hot. Or, um, can't you say it? <laughs> yes. You're really hot. <laughs> Tell me, how did you meet him? Oh, that's... Mm. Well, this is for your ears alone. I stole his number from Annabelle's phone and I called him. He invited me over and I had to play the role of a good girl that needed financial favors. We got talking and he know the rest. In fact, our wedding bell will soon ring. I... Seriously? Cynthia, that's very fast. But, are you really sure this is what you want? Why not? I'm saying this because the story going round town. I never thought about why his three wives left his house. Oh, that. Whatever it was that made his three wives to leave him, I, Cynthia, can definitely handle it. So don't bother yourself, okay? If you say so, but Cynthia, I'm really scared for you. Would you forget it? Okay? You see, I have always liked you. Ever since the very first day I saw you. You look to me like a good girl. Or like that stupid Annabelle that has jealousy written all over her. I actually called you here to let you know that. You will be my maid of honor. Wow. I'm honored. <laughs> Listen, Cynthia. If, if this is really what you want, if this will make you happy, I give you my support. Now you're talking. Come to think of it, Cynthia, how did you beat that almighty Annabelle to her own game? Because this is what she has ever dreamt of. Yes. Did you just call Annabelle almighty? Annabelle is analog. She doesn't know how to get what she wants from a man. I saw the comfort I wanted and I unleashed the woman in me. Babes like me don't wait for men to come to them. They go for the men, especially the ones with the real cash. You know how they say it? Money answereth all things. And girl, that is my favorite verse in the Bible. Cynthia, you sure have a way with that. I wish you well done. Thank you. Thank you. My love. Now that you're officially man and wife, I want to know what plans do you have for me? What do you want for yourself? Um, I don't know what I want, but I definitely know what I don't want. I like your choice of words. So what don't you want? I don't want to be a housewife. Of course. No wife of mine would ever be a housewife. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. My love, see, I want to control money. I want to feel it. I want you to know how productive I can be. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that. Oh, hmm? thank you. You're the best. I will make you control excess money like you have never seen in all your life. But. Just give me some three months so that you can relax while I make plans for you. Plans? What plans? The boutique and the supermarket are there already. So what other plans are you talking about? I don't operate like that. Huh? Listen, you came highly recommended from heaven. I can give you a leftover business. 
In fact, those shops have come to my town's boys just to settle them while I make bigger plans for you. But you see why I say you're my heaven sent? You're awesome. This is why I keep talking about you everywhere I go. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. You're special. What are you doing here? Anna, I can remember you asking me to go out. But I cannot remember you asking me not to visit you. Not without a notice. You could have called. But can't you afford a call card? Um, Annabelle, sorry. I'm sorry, Annabelle. I can see you're still mourning losing Uju to another woman. Is that probably why you did not attend the marriage ceremony? For your information, Uju. I am way bigger and better than attending the ceremony without being invited. So you get that. How you mean? Wait, wait a minute. You mean she did not invite you? I, I kind of understand it if Udru failed to invite you because he probably saw you as a pest. But for Cynthia not to invite you to her own wedding ceremony, it, it baffles me. Yes. What are you talking about? Which Cynthia are you referring to? So you don't know? No, for what? Okay. Utubondo just wedded your friend Cynthia at the registry in GRA. <laughs> Why am I even shocked? <laughs> Do you even know anything? <laughs> oh my god. Annabelle, you've lost it. You're a total lost. <laughs> would, you, would you seriously? This is so not funny. So just tell me you're joking. You're joking, yeah? <laughs> but, but, but Cynthia is in Lagos, isn't she? How did she even meet him? As I speak to you, Cynthia is in his house as his newly wedded wife. And for how she got to meet him, let me say, I think your failure to activate your security code in your phone made that possible. No, 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 I, I, this, this is so difficult for me to take in. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That's, that's backstabbing bastard of a bitch. How could you do this to me? Sweetheart, I'll leave you to figure that out. Meanwhile, I'll be on my way. You know, I'm not welcome here. Yeah? <laughs> Bye, Annabelle. You're not going to work today. I want to be with you like forever. I feel the same way too. But the Bondo is a very busy man with lots of businesses to control. You want to control excess money, right? Of course. Then I got to go out and make the money. Huh? Just be the loyal wife you are. 
and you will never be in want of anything. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, darling. I love you. I love you. Okay. Take care of yourself. Oh, really? Television is malfunctioning. The television is not malfunctioning. Has never malfunctioned. You are the fool that has been malfunctioning all the way from London. Who, who are you? I said, who are you? Someone you do not want to behold. What are you doing here? show your face. You dare not ask me to do that. You shouldn't be here. You do not belong here. Sometimes when you think too much, you could hear and see things imaginary. I think you're right, my love. Maybe I was just exhausted. I know I'll be fine. You know, it happens once in a while. I'll be fine because you're here with me. It was so bad that she had to apply for a transfer to Okay. See me see trouble. What is wrong with Annabelle? Yeah. She had this man under her nose for a very long time but couldn't do anything to get him. Then I came and unleashed the woman in me. You're here telling me about heartbreak. She hasn't seen anything yet. Cynthia, you do not understand how much she fantasized about being with this man. The only hindrance she had was the last wife. But the sudden breakup was just a divine intervention for her. Yeah, Isn't it glaring whom the breakup works in favor of? Listen, Cynthia, I think you're just lucky. I would suggest you grab what you can grab right now before what happened to the other women happens to you. Oh, my God, there she goes again. Uju, I have told you to relax. Nothing is happening. Okay. What's happened to the other woman is just unfortunate. But trust me, whatever it is, I can handle it. Yeah. Did you hear that knock on the door? Oh, I didn't hear anything. Would you? Can't you hear the knock? I can't hear anything. There's, there's nobody knocking. Who is that? Who is What is wrong with you? No, there's nobody knocking. Can't you hear me knock? Where is this kid? Can't you hear? I can't hear anything. I can't hear anything. Who are you? And how do you get in here? Can't you hear me? 
going to hear me? Who are you? Cynthia, it's just the both of us here. There is nobody here. <laughs> Nobody here. Nobody came in and nobody left. You told me your good man already left. So, nobody came in here. Would you? Didn't you see her here? She was standing right there. She was laughing at me. I didn't see anybody. Nobody was laughing at anyone. I said, come out and face me! Cindy, are you, are you really sure you're okay? Are you okay? Didn't you see any woman here? Nobody was here. Nobody came in here. What is this? There's no one here. Are, are you sure Cynthia is okay? Cynthia! That I cannot do anything. Didn't you? Me? No! How can I say such a thing? Am I mad? Okay, I'm mad! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told you you do not belong here. Get out and never return. Okay, get out! Okay, I will leave you, Rajoba! Woo! Cannot live with any woman, Emeka. Never, never, no woman, no child. Never.
You cannot leave her out there. She is your wife for crying out loud. You talk as if you don't know what has been happening. We have captured her seven times. And seven times she has escaped. I just don't know what else to do again. Maybe I'm not supposed to have married after all. So you want to leave her out there? I have tried my best. God knows I have tried. Udu Bondo. Ophonia Naso Noabia. Gaga Nobu. Onwane Tilora. Udu, my dear friend. You cannot give up like that. Come with me to meet my man of God. You refused. Take your wife to the psychiatric hospital. You refused. Look at you, Udu. You need help. Huh? There's something definitely wrong somewhere. With all my wealth, I have no single job. I have become a laughing stock before those who used to worship me. Good bondo. Good bondo. Hell is by the corner. Man of God indeed. This is absolute 
rubbish. What day are you off less respectfully? How would you bring me this kind of place? Could you? She is sad. She is very, very sad. The sins you committed in the past, the consequences, is haunting you. What did you just say? I see stubbornness in your eyes. You don't believe that God can deliver you through a small boy like me. I want you. I want you to come back in for this time. By that time, I must have dealt with the spirit of stubbornness that is in you. And you'll be able to speak up and be free from your afflictions. When Nesty one did solve me, make it higher than this. Udu, Udu, Bandu, Udu, Udu. A lot has happened in the last four days in the realm of the spirit. God is on the throne. God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever. Miracles still happen here. You have to talk to me. You have to speak to me. You have to confess your sins and be free. The Bible said, if the Son of Man shall set you free, you are free indeed. I served a very stingy man. He was known for settling his boys with little or nothing. By the time he settled me, I could barely rent a shop. I was so frustrated because I didn't know who to turn to. I lived a very miserable life. I had no one to help me. No one to turn to. Even to feed was a problem. At a point, I had to beg to feed. Hey, Michael, what are you still doing here? Hey, I just need small change from you. Please, small change. I've not eaten this morning, no. I just need small money from you, please. No. How do I want to take us, Simon? Ah, even you, Silas. Please, now, eh? Please, now, give me money just for food, though. Big one, give me, big one. Okay, because I've gone. Thank you. Hi. Take. Yeah. Now why did you hear Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All the blessings. Bless you. Okay, Benji. You, you know me now. You can't say you don't know me. It was on this line that I served my master. Eh? Things have been so wrong for me of late. I'm just here for you to please give me some goods or credit. I will sell. If I sell, I return money to you. I swear. Please. You know, don't say you cannot. You can, Oga okay, Benji. Eh? You, you can, you can, no, now you can help me. Is it because of my Oga? I'm free from my Oga. Oga Benji, if you give me this good or credit, I will sell, I will sell your money. Hi. Life was so unbearable that I contemplated taking my life. I thought about committing suicide so much that one day I decided to end it all. Then from nowhere a string man came to me. What am I living for? What is life to a man who cannot boast of anything? I know exactly what is running through your head. 
you have presumably come to the end of the road and you're here planning to take your life, don't do it. Only fools take their lives. Don't take your life. Who are you, please? Who are you? You are in their need of help. I will give you that help. Are you ready to take it? He offered to take me somewhere. I was so excited that he asked him where he was taking me to. He told me to meet him somewhere the next day. This is the place he asked me to wait. I've almost waited for 20 minutes. Where is this man? I was almost giving up. No. You cannot give up when you have come this far. For you to be here this night waiting for me has convinced me that you are truly a man. I will take you to the sacred part of Onicha where blind eyes are opened. Are you ready? Something tells me that I'm a man of wealth. I'm ready to do anything to get out of my situation. You said this is furniture. What part of furniture is this? This is the metaphysical side of furniture. It will interest you to know that you are in the temple of Aformulu Omumu. From here, we control the physical furniture. If we like the face of any man, we go all out in making him a millionaire. I like your face. And we shall make you a millionaire. Hey, thank you. See, I want to be exposed to the secret. I want to be a millionaire. I'm tired of my poverty. I want to be released from this shackle of poverty. Please, make me a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Don't be surprised. I know that you are an orphan with nobody to run to. But if you really want to get money, Bring a woman that is so dear to you. She will be sacrificed in the temple. And her blood shall form the foundation of the world that you will enjoy. Hi. Blood. Uh, sorry. Is there no other way to go about it? Must we shed blood to make money? It is a spiritual reality. And there is always a connection between fortune and blood. Men who are men don't think like women. Make a decision today and you will be counted among the great men. When I was serving my master, I had a very beautiful girl who loved me with all her heart. She didn't want me to fail in life. She wanted the best things for me. She told me never ever to steal from my master or to engage in anything in vanity. She wanted me to remain focused. Aneka, I don't know why you brought me out here. I brought you out to give you something. See, have it. Take it. Emeka, hey, I won't take this money. I told you I don't want you to give me money. Ah, ah. Tinazo, why? See, you need this money. It's from my heart. I want you to use this money to take care of yourself. Every woman needs money. Sorry, Emeka. Hey, I won't take this money. Why? Because whatever money you're giving me is the money you stole from your master. Emeka. Hey, 
please don't steal from your master just to make me love you. I love you just the way you are. Hmm? I called her my mother Teresa. She was a very noble girl. So when I was asked to bring a woman for sacrifice for the pot of Afomolo or Momo, she was the only person that came to my mind. What are we doing here? A woman so dear to my heart. Are you not the one? You are. I don't get it, Emeka. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? There's poverty surrounding me. Do you like it? You don't. Something is going to happen here that will change everything. Something is going to happen where that will end your poverty. Yes. What? I killed the girl. I killed my mother Teresa. God, I love her so much. I could see here her voice to blame me that it's not about the money that we make it as husband and wife, huh? Keep my mother to reserve. I was there watching her face the kind of brutality. She was killed, slaughtered like a goat. She kept on shouting to me, cursing me until she died. She can't still forgive you. But you have to do what I told you to do already. If not, your life will be restless and meaningless. Pastor, tell me honestly, is there no other way out of this? Because I cannot donate all my money to charity. Pastor, you don't know where I'm coming from. That is the only way the spirit of the angry woman can live in peace. No. That is the option that you have. That is not possible. Pastor, where I am coming from is too far for me to go back to.
before before indeed the name does not befit you anymore look at yourself is this where life landed you I have started from scratch again imagine Ogademi advising me to go back to the village go back to the village to do what Why is it that I can't find anybody to help me? Why? Why? Look at me. When I am supposed to be happy with a family, I'm a lonely man. No wife, no children, no friends, no peace. I am now a laughing stock among the people. Nobody wants to have anything to do with me any longer. Here, yeah, Udu. I'll kiss you where Jair. Good afternoon, sir. This is Annabelle. Annabelle. I believe you want to talk about money. I don't want to talk about money. 
I have come to the end of money. I don't understand what you're saying, Dad. Anyways, the reason why I called you is because the certificate for the 50 million Naira shares you bought in my bank is with me here. And I want to give it to you. Bring it to my house. Plot 627. With the bundle clothes. Jerry. If not for business, what will I be doing with a fool like this? Godwin, take me to plot 627 Udubondo Close, Jerry. Okay. Are you all right? I mean, you left the gates open. Everywhere was open. The gates, the entrance door. Yes, I know. We have come in our way. Honestly, I have gotten to the lowest ebb of my life. And I need someone like you to move on. I don't understand what you mean, sir. Sir? I believe you were sent by God to get me out of this confusion that has enveloped me. I want you to be my wife. And together, we can relocate to any country of your choice. Where these witches will not see us to destroy our marriage. Wishy. Yes, who? She. The lady standing right before us. That's nobody. What? You, you mean you, you, you cannot see her? No. Oh my, oh my god. I didn't see this. I'm not part of this. Uh, I'm not part of this. I didn't see this. I'm not part of this. I don't part of this.
find a place in your good heart to forgive me. I have sinned against you. I have sinned against God. I know you have been the one behind all this. Please forgive me so that I can start all over again. Your forgiveness is in your hands. Do exactly what the man of God told you already. Donate everything you own to charity. Go back to that slum that we lived. You will find another Chinazo that will love you again. Together, both of you can start again. Everything shall pass away 